This is an improved version of my survey plotter. The flexible arm is now rigid and I've added a pen lift mechanism to the plotter. In addition I've added dead band correction. Let's run a menu. Let's run option T8 which demonstrates two overlaid squares without the dead band correction. The plot is now going to plot two squares, one clockwise and one anti-clockwise. Notice that there's a slight distortion on the edges of the or corners of the square and the diagonals don't overlap. I'll shift the paper so that we plot over a different portion and I'll now plot the use the same file but send it with dead band correction note that the corners of the squares are now square And the diagonals go from corner to corner. Um, the impressive thing is when it plots in the opposite direction, all the paths are overlaid. Uh, my method of dead band correction is explained in the instructable. Essentially it turns a unusable plotter into a usable plotter. The plotter features a, well, a, a G-code interpreter. It allows you to manually test the or practice your g-code I guess. Yeah. Let's plot a line from the lower left corner so we'll go from do a uh, We'll move up to, oh, okay look, the, the corners down here, we'll just plot from there up, back and around. So we'll go G01, uh, we'll go X0 up to Y200 and we'll send that up and you'll see the plot is moving up to the corner. 
let's now move the plotter across the page so we'll send that over to say 150 an A4 sheet of paper is only 220 mils across and it goes across the page nicely let's bring it down and let's bring it home well, we might as well plot the diagonals while we're at it so if we move our uh, the plot up to 150 and the y axis up to 200 you'll see that it's plotting the diagonal um, we'll move it over to the other corner so lift the pen, move the pen up to zero no, yep that's right and Y200, that should move it across the page which it does now let's, set, let's send it back to the opposite corner G01 X150 and we'll set the Y axis down to zero and here it comes across the page Just bring the little beast home. The interpreter also accepts Inkscape files. Let's send a Inkscape file to the plotter. We'll just plot a simple target. Connection, send text file, and we'll go for target. One of the idiosyncrasies of the uh, Call, call term which is what I'm using at the moment is that it defaults to text files but hey it works well with our G code stuff just call them text so we'll open that and it's sending and it's now plotting a circle now the diagonals Finally the 
a box to enclose the lines.